them and I was told in 2013 that they'd, they'd kind of reached the end of the road in terms of what they could do in Ireland and that I would remain on crutches for the rest of my life. Um, so that was a very memorable day for good reasons. Um, I walked out of the, the hospital and just took a moment and sat and thought, look, you've, you're somebody that has waited to get better for a very, very long time and you've put things on the long finger because you keep saying, once you get better, you'll do this. And I realized that in that moment that I was just making excuses. Let's be honest, I was just making excuses. Um, and to be told that I was going to remain on crutches for the rest of my life and that, in fact, my health was going to actually deteriorate f further was kind of the the kickstart that I needed and it, it helped me set up my, my foundation and it's helped with all the positive stuff I've been able to do since. It was a remarkable turning point in other words, I mean the things you've been doing initially, tell people some of the challenges you've <laughs> taken on, nobody would do those, tell me about them. Okay so the very first one was climbing Muckish Mountain in Donegal which took a very long time because the weather was absolutely awful. <laughs> no. Um, I know Donegal, I mean, what? <laughs> we're known for our good weather. Um, and after that, once I did that, once I climbed my first mountain, I thought, okay, so I can at least do this. Because I didn't know before. Yeah. It was more of an experiment. Can I do this with crutches? Um, the, the terrain in, in, on the mountains in Donegal is very boggy. Um, there's a lot of heather, so crutches get caught quite easily. So it was a very frustrating climb, but I learned a lot. And I realized that I loved it, that I loved that feeling at the top, and I loved that feeling at the bottom. I've been able to go <laughs> home. So it was the start of a couple of years of, of adventure and pushing myself so it's led to me attempting a world attempting a guinness world record in holland um i've done rock climbing um attempted diving um what have i done today i've sailed down that. i've sailed down that that footage was from fanad lighthouse in Incredible. donegal we did that actually three times i was <sighs> terrified the first time climbing over that famous red railing at the top climbing over head first um, mm. But once I did it once, I realised this is absolutely brilliant. So let's do it two more times. Um, so we did. Um, there you are. There we're showing a bit. Yeah, either. it was absolutely brilliant. It, it, that kind of stuff. I mean, it's kind of adrenaline stuff. Um, but it's not something that I thought I would have been able to do as somebody that that uses crutches. Um, but it was only. Do you know what? It's by doing these things that you realise that you can you can actually do them by giving them a go. Um, and it's it's resulted in me attempting crazy things. I did the fan dance in January, which is 24 kilometers in the Brecon Beacons, um, a march usually reserved by or for the British Special, Special Forces. Forces. Um, that's something that I didn't even know anything about up until about a year ago. Um, and I thought, you know what, that looks absolutely brilliant. Let's give it a go. Again, let's just see if it can happen. And we got there. We, we did it. And it was such a great thing to learn from. And it has led to me planning bigger things now. She's a forward. remarkable person. You really are a remarkable person. Thank you.